Once again, um, my name's Sarah, and I'm so glad that you're able to join with us just for a few minutes this morning on our Strength for Today devotion. And I hope that you have been encouraged um, this week already to cultivate a mindset of thankfulness. Do you know, back in August last year, I acquired a new addition to my house. Friends of mine moved to Cyprus and I rehomed their dog. So Milo came and I have to tell you, this dog is my loyal protector. He follows me everywhere until a bird or a rabbit should appear in the garden. And then I'm completely forgotten about. Um, it's as if I don't exist. Um, but although Milo's loyalty to me varies and although his faithfulness to me varies, um, this morning I want us to think about God's faithfulness and um, praise his name. His faithfulness never, ever changes. You know, the Bible tells us that God is faithful even when we are not. You know, if you were to look up the word faithful um, in the dictionary, um, some words you might get um, include steadfast, loyal, reliable. Faithful is such a wonderful attribute of God. God can be described as trustworthy, reliable, dependable and sure. All words that help us to understand what faithful means. And because of all of those things, he's worthy of our trust. This fact that he is worthy of our trust should literally make our hearts burst with gladness and want to praise him. Faithfulness is at the heart of all that God does. God is faithful to us, not because of anything in us, but because of our union with Christ as believers. There's absolutely nothing in us is the basis of God's faithfulness. He is faithful in the big picture, in the salvation of the lost, in the restoration of the broken. But praise his name, he's also faithful in the small things and in those quiet prayers that you utter on your own that are maybe only a few seconds long, that maybe you only know about. Praise his name, he is faithful in that as well. Praise him that he is infinitely and unchangingly faithful. This means he never forgets anything. This means he never fails to do anything that he has set out to do. He never changes his mind and he never takes back a promise. Now, over the course of the last year, a psalm in particular that became very important um, to me, um, I would spend time reading it in the morning just on the Bible app on my phone um, going to work um, was Psalm 91. Um, and I don't know about you, but especially at the start of all of this, there was a real fear um, that was so palpable among so many. Um, and each morning as I would sit in the car before going into work, um, I would read Psalm 91. And I am so thankful that because God is faithful and I'm so thankful that because he never changes, all the wonderful promises that are contained within Psalm 91 are true. And this makes my heart glad. And this was a great source of comfort to me um, over the course of what has been a very scary year. And I just want to read it with you. So Psalm 91 verse 1. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honour him. 
With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Isn't it wonderful as believers that we can take comfort in the fact that we are in a place of safety. We are protected from the enemy. We do not need to be afraid because God is faithful. These promises will always come to pass. They will always apply in your life. He's never going to break one of them. He's never going to change his mind on one of them. He's not going to say it's for you today, but it's not for you tomorrow. Each and every single day of your life as a believer in Christ, God's promises as contained in Psalm 91 are for you because God is faithful and tied to the fact that God is faithful is the fact God never changes. So today take comfort in this knowledge. I just want to finish by reading um, a quote from A.W. Pink and it says, God is true. His word of promise is sure. In all his relations with his people, God is faithful. He may be safely relied upon. No one ever really trusted him in vain. We find his precious truth expressed almost everywhere in the scriptures. For his people need to know that faithfulness is an essential part of the divine character. This is the basis of our confidence in him. So this morning, believer, take comfort in the fact and be glad in the fact that God is faithful and he never changes. 